Good morning, my water sign collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, water signs? You can ring my bell, or ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, water signs. What the fuck's going on? Whew. Let's fluff the hair out, y'all. Just, just kind of let loose. Have some fun here. Mm. Let your hair down. Have a good old time. Look. What's going on? What's going on, water signs? What's going on? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful water sign collective. Y'all see that card flip? Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what is going on, Rose Valley? Go forth with a soft and open heart. Love, feminine energy, vulnerability. <laughs> Explain why I wanted to fluff the hair out, right? Feminine energy. Okay, I love that for you guys. That rose, look at that. Two lovers there. Look at that beautiful rose. Maybe some of y'all might be smelling roses. Uh, rose bouquet. Uh, maybe candles. Maybe you like to use the rose water. Um, that's beautiful. I haven't bought me any roses here. Uh, lately, because I haven't been to Kroger's to pick me up any. Uh, maybe that's a omen for me, right? Edge of the world, leap into the unknown. Calling, courage, uh, taking risks. Some of y'all, this could be about love. This could be about love. I love that. The flowers you gave me. I just about to die when I think about what could have been. Ooh. Got love on the brain? What's going on, Cancer? Is that you or someone you're dealing with? For some of you, it just means keep that heart chakra open, okay? You got to keep that heart chakra open. You can't be calling in love if you've got heartbreak and all this residual energy there. You got to have an open, clean heart space, right? For some of you, maybe someone's thinking about that with you. Maybe they want to send you some roses or give you some flowers or, or do something to make you feel special. I love that. Cancer, I love that. that that's a whole kind of almost romantic uh, energy with this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I say Cancer, I, lo I love that energy. Uh, air signs that it's it's like oh that heart chakra opening three fifteen on the clock when I said that bottom of the deck is nine of pentacles so money's looking good so maybe you're buying your own fucking roses right not a fucking thing wrong with that you can get what you want right <laughs> yeah look as I'm laughing spirits like hell yeah you can you're ascending. You're, you're understanding how that works, right? I'm drawn to that sort of design up there at the top. Kind of, you know, when you see the cutout of the heart and all the little uh, blood vessels and shit, when the, they show like the electrical pulses going in, you're understanding to, to elevate, to call in love. You got to have that heart chakra open, right? No blockages in there. Everything working free, uh, free and clear, unencumbered by anything fucking uh, negative, right? It's an open heart space. Ten of Pentacles. This is being around people, being happy, being open, right? Getting out there and meeting people. For fuck's sake, you ain't going to find somebody if you ain't out there freaking meeting people, right? <sighs> Cancers, I love this. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. As I say that, there's an ambulance that went by. I don't know if y'all seen the flashing lights. Three of Pentacles. Pay attention. Some of you, this is when spirit steps in, right? When you're stopped at a situation where something kind of feels stuck, take a look around. 
Yellow light, move forward with caution. Green light means go. So when you're meeting people, right? Maybe you're going to kind of get the, you're, you're going to feel the energy of where you need to go with this. Spirit's going to kind of set you up in the right situation to understand when and how something needs to go. You know what I mean? So this is, don't be afraid to get out there and meet people. I mean, that's a Ten of Pentacles card, but to me, that could be someone showing up at a daycare to pick up a child, right? You could meet someone, uh, another single parent, while you're picking up your kid from school or, or something like that, right? Opportunities abound. The world. Um, I hesitate to say online dating because some of that can be just a little fucking skeezy, right? So... Take that however that resonates on your part. If you like that sort of thing, you know, keeping your options open. Page of uh, Wands there. You got to get out there. You got to get out there. <laughs> you got to get out there. Right? You got to get out there. There's no two ways around that. Yeah, the High Priestess. You're going to know what to do. I feel that with this Three of Pentacles energy. You're going to know. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. You're going to know when it's time to do what you need to do. So, you know, when I'm telling you to get your ass out there and start dating and meeting people, you're going to know when it's time. It's going to feel right. Okay? For some of you, if you're coming from a dead stop, you're going to have to ease into it, right? So, you just slowly start easing into it. Maybe you do one or two dates a month, right? You just start easing into it until you're able to, to kind of get that green light go where you feel like, okay, it's time. Maybe for some of you, you're going to start slow by just getting on a website and trying to find somebody. Um, you know, use your precaution with this because everyone has different results. But maybe that's how you're going to start kind of uh, getting your feet wet in that. By just maybe getting on some sites and seeing if you strum up any attention. Okay? And you're going to know. Trust it. You're going to know when it's time to do what you need to do. Uh, you got to trust that, okay? That's going to be something that you instinctually feel. High Priestess with the Emperor. A lot of you calling in. When that heart space is open, you're going to be calling in the right one. Emperor, Empress energy. I hope you all believe that. I hope you all understand how that works. When your heart space is open, you know, you, you've healed. You're not you're not dealing with any of that residual heartbreak. You're, you're like ready for love. You're open to it. You know, the wounds have been healed and you're not holding any grudges. So if you meet somebody new, you're not going to be comparing them to a past ex. That's not going to be automatically where you go with it. You're not going to be thinking that, uh, a relationship is doomed before it even gets started, right? If you meet an emperor, you're not going to, you're not going to puss out of it so quick and, and let it just sort of fall to the wayside. You're going to be receptive and know when to give the time, energy, and attention uh, to the situation. And when you feel that red light, you're going to, you know, end the situation. When you see them red flags, you're going to end it. But remember, you got to allow at least three or four dates to kind of spot all the red flags because someone could just be nervous and not their normal self on the first date, right? Page of Wands with the Nine of Wands. So this is the Ten of Wands. I think this is you, you know, you see, she's right there holding that wand. I think this is you saying, fuck it, let's go out there and have some fun. Okay? She's like, fuck it, let's go out there and have some fun. Uh, it's, uh, it's almost that energy of you're going to have to let your guard down. Okay? Uh, not like completely, but you can't just like be, be so stoic. I'm not going to look at anybody. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not going to date. Right? You have to You have to be willing to, to throw, kind of throw caution to the wind and get your ass out there. Okay? The world card here with the... This is... <sighs> the justice card here. Things come in full circle. Right? So you have some shitty relationships. You're going to have some positive relationships. Things always balance out in the end. If you go into it with an open, kind, loving heart with good intentions, and that's what you're going to be attracting. Now, of course, you're going to be, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 uh, chance. Those of you that want to start online, right, what you're going to get. But 
if you do it in a positive mindset with an open heart, open mind, you're going to get what you put out. You know what I mean? This is like, don't, don't, this is almost like that inner struggle that you have. You got to stay positive, even though you might be just thinking about everything being negative. This is when you can go out and you're not spending the day talking about an ex. You're not spending the day trying to compare somebody else to somebody else. You know what I mean? Everyone is different. If you ain't, if you don't come from an open, uh, healed heart and you just keep carrying all this negative baggage with you, anyone you meet, you're not really going to be giving them a fair shot because you're going to be comparing them to someone else and that's like apples and fucking oranges, okay? This three of pentacles with that will of fortune. That's part of the process. When you learn to trust, red light, yellow light, green light, go. Right? There's like four pentacles there. Then will of fortunes. You're going to know. You're going to be like the queen of navigating this, the king of navigating this energy. You're going to trust this. A lot of you are going to trust when it's time to get out there and start doing what you need to do. Okay, if you're coming from a standstill, when it gets to yellow, just ease into it for fuck's sake, right? Maybe it is by just uh, conversations online before you actually go out. You'll know and trust when you get the... When you get that feeling, when it's time to, to get out there and start doing what you need to do. A lot of you, that's part of the fucking learning process. That will of fortune energy. You didn't go through what you went through for no fucking reason, okay? You can be open to meet people in many different areas. So, you know, don't be afraid to go out and maybe have coffee with somebody. You can meet somebody in, in some of the most interesting places, right? Because that world card there with that mandala up there, it could just be in the circle that you navigate in, the circle that you operate in, where you go, uh, the people that are around you in your everyday life. Some of you, it's where you stand out, where you get attention, right? You're showing up, you're showing out, so of course people are going to be looking. So if you get offers, are you going to take them? You can't be showing that off and, and presenting this beautiful image if you're not going to get out there and, and you know, kind of use it to your advantage to get some dates, to meet some people. If, if it's not a love relationship, it could be a business partnership or, you know, just strum up some business for whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Uh, you have to get out there and meet people. The Hierophant is covered by the Six of Pentacles. This is spirit bringing in that balance. Helping you out. Helping you out. Getting the healing that you need to do. This is such a beautiful reading. Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You just got to trust it. And if you notice that six of pentacles. There is kind of the um, infinity sign around it. You get, out, you get back what you put out. Spirit's like as soon as you get out of your head and heal the heartbreak. That's when the good can come in. And there's definitely balance coming in, but a lot of you have got to realize that, right? The energy you operate in is what you get back. For some of you, don't just misjudge a person. Don't You can't hold uh, all of your exes uh, up to the new people that you date, masculine or feminine. It don't matter, right? Everybody deserves a fair chance. You just can't keep comparing them to the last four or five that you had that were shit, right? You got to give someone a fair opportunity to get in there, okay? Some of you are calling in an emperor. That's the reward for the work that you've done. And y'all, I don't go all ape shit when it comes to these love readings, but this is obviously for someone... It's time. It's time. You've done the work. You've done, you know, whatever you went through. It's time for the 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 things to shift up. It's time for things to change. It's time for, you know, the reciprocity. And just trust the guidance. Trust what you're drawn to do, right? If you're coming from a standstill, ease into it. Maybe it's uh, online dating. Maybe it's just getting out there. But you got to be, you got to be willing to get out there, right? 
and that clean, pure heart. You're not holding any negative energies. You're 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 hoping for the best, right? You're sending that peace, love, and light out there. For fuck's sake, you're sending it out there, and people are noticing. So when people want to come in and say, "Hey, you want to go have coffee, or you want to go on a date," right? Don't be so hesitant to say no. Hmm. Water signs. I love that. Balance is coming in. For a lot of you, the work that you've done gets paid gets paid back. That was part of the whole lesson, part of the whole journey. But you got to have a, a clean, pure, open heart going into it, right? No residuals, no, no hang-ups, right? That heart is open and ready to love, ready to receive love. It's a beautiful energy. And that is when your heart space is open, when you call in the one. Now, is it going to be the first one you go on a date with? Probably the fuck not. You have to get out there and meet some people, right? But that's when you just, you know, follow the little red light, yellow light, green light, go. And you'll know what to do. Spirit is definitely going to reward you, though. The Hierophant there with that Six of Pentacles. Because you finally learned the fucking lesson. Let go, free up that heart, and go out there and have fun and live your life. Ooh, water signs. That is so fucking beautiful. That is so fucking beautiful. Mm. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, air signs. Water signs. Some y'all could be dealing with an air sign. I'm just saying.